Welcome to my video blog where I'm going to discuss my dissertation topic of combining military history and indigenous studies and cultural preservation, uh, the effects of Camp Drum upon the Gabrielino Tongva sacred sites and cultural resistance in Los Angeles County from 1860 to 1890. The California mission system and its treatment uh, and transformation of the native people have been subjects of uh, significant and important scholarship. Yet the following period of U.S. military incursion into Southern California and its impact on Indian sacred sites, uh, material culture, and agency has been understudied. Uh, Camp Drum was established in 1862 and serves as a, a compelling case study. Its founding uh, coincided with uh, a critical juncture in the Gabrielino Tongva history uh, following the disruptions of the Spanish mission system and preceding the reservation era. This temporal and geographical focus allows us to examine a, a pivotal moment in the negotiation of space and power and cultural identity between the uh, U.S. military and indigenous people. The historiography also uh, progressed evolving from early 20th century accounts uh, to emphasize on anthrographic depictions of California Indians and their lives with little attention to the military installations as uh, described by uh, Cover in his handbook of the Indians of California in 1925 to mid-century scholarship uh, that began to catalog the Gabrielino Tongva uh, oral histories like that from uh, John Harrington's field notes. Yeah, it was uh, only in the late 20th century that military and indigenous histories uh, coherently came together, uh, not, and not until Kent Lightfoot's Indians, Missionaries, and Merchants in 2005, which uh, integrated archaeological evidence in a synchronetic field of historiography and uh, anthropographic documents, did historians begin to explore the role of military actors in California's story. Most recently, Benjamin Madley's uh, American Get Genocide in 2006 has fundamentally remained the, the state authorized form of military mass violence used against Indians in California. But even with these advances, a uh, crucial piece has been missing in the big picture of how precise uh, military posts like Camp Drum affected the native and uh, sacred or cultural sites. I intend to fill that gap by leveraging uh, two theoretical lenses. First, the cultural landscape theory uh, developed by uh, Carl Sauer uh, and refined by Dennis Cosgrove will allow me to see how Camp Drum transformed not only the physical landscape, but the entire cultural and spiritual framework of, of the landscape of the Grand uh, Gabrielino Tongva people. Second, uh, the resistance theory by James C. Scott will give me a, a conceptual tool with which to recognize and interpret less obvious forms of indigenous resistance that might be apparent only on close reading of the uh, archival record. Uh, this research will contribute to several ongoing scholar scholarly discussions. Um, it will increase our grasp of the, the, the spatial patterns of U.S. military expansion in the West, going well beyond the more familiar story of, of the Plains Wars. Uh, it will bolster uh, the literature on indigenous culture and resistance and adaptation under colonialism. Uh, it'll deepen the, the linkages between environmental history and, and both uh, military and Native American studies on one hand, and on the other hand, explore consequences of changed land use on cultural practices. Uh, also, it'll enter into a conversation in critical military studies uh, regarding the hist historically extended cultural influences of uh, military sites. Methodologically, uh, this project will synthesize a diverse array of uh, sources, including uh, military records and uh, correspondence from the, the National Archives, uh, land patent records from the uh, Bureau of Land Management. I also intend to use Gabrielino Tongva oral histories, both historical and uh, contemporary. Uh, archaeological data from the Camp Drum site and uh, its surrounding areas and uh, contemporary newspapers from both uh, Los Angeles and San Francisco. Uh, with these sources, uh, I'll begin to make a more layered and textured landscape of military engagements with the, the native peoples. Uh, one of the most uh, exciting prospects of this kind of research is that it might yield previously unseen manifestations of 
uh, the Gabrielino Tonga resistance and cultural endurance, uh, changes in the uh, expressions and exercises of religion, shifts in ways that made people use uh, of, of the landscape, and new forms of uh, socio-political organization might turn out to represent uh, ways in which the Gabrielino Tonga culture uh, subtly but forcefully persisted despite uh, the military incursions. Uh, furthermore, this research will have uh, implications on current issues of land use or religious freedom and, and the preservation of culture. Uh, once the historical process becomes more apparent, uh, they, may, they can be factored into uh, contemporary databases and or uh, contemporary debates about uh, uh, protecting Native American sacred sites. Ultimately, this uh, dissertation will not only fill a crucial hole in the historiography of the 19th century California, but also feed into a broader debate about the uh, culture of colonialism, indigenous resistance, and the uh, enduring legacy of military expansion on uh, Native peoples. It's a product of military, indigenous environment, and cultural history that promises to further our understanding of a pivotal chapter in the history of the U.S. West and Native Americas. Now, thanks for watching.